Hi guys, so I thought today it would be fun to take a trip to Marshalls, check out what they have for sort of fall sweaters and do a try on there at the store. So we have a Marshalls nearby, but I don't go there very often. I don't know why. I think maybe because I sort of connect Marshalls with TJ Maxx and TJ Maxx is another store I don't go to very often because it's pretty hit or miss. So I tend to like to find stores that I have good luck at whenever I go and I just don't find that at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I thought since I have some time today and it's a nice day, it's a great day to get out of the house, it would be fun to go over and check it out. So let's go see what they have for some fall styles. Okay, so to start, please forgive this extremely dirty mirror. The first thing I tried on at Marshall's was this pair of Can Can jeans. They were in a size 7 and they were $16.99. I thought they fit pretty nicely. They were maybe a little bit tight, but this sweater I loved the color of. I didn't end up keeping this one because it was a little more cropped than I would have liked, but I love that burnt orange color. I just thought it was so much fun. I love the ribbing. It was a little baggy on the sides too. As you can see, not the greatest fit. The thing I tried on was this sweater by Sincerely Jewels in a size small, and this one was $16.99. I didn't love the boxy look of this. I tend to like a more fitted sweater, but I loved the length of the sleeves. They were nice and long, and that's something I have trouble finding. I also really liked the pattern, just not the boxy fit of it, so this one ended up staying behind. This next sweater was by Freshman 1996. This is a size small and it was $14.99. And it's funny because I was a freshman in 1994 and this really was like <laughs> a look that I probably would have liked when I was a freshman in high school. There was a lot of distressing on this sweater and I didn't love that, but I did like the wide rib. I thought that was kind of fun that it was a wider rib. It seemed more 90s to me, but yeah, I'm not loving the distressing on this one. This next sweater was by Willow and Wind. This one was a size small and it was $16.99. I thought this was a really fun sweater. It was something I might not normally choose, but I really liked the V-neck in the back and in the front. I loved the little tie in the front. I thought that was a really cute detail. The length of the sleeves was pretty perfect. I also really liked the color. It was like that purple, but maybe some pinks mixed in, maybe a little bit of blue, just a really fun color combination. I did not end up keeping this one, but I've thought about it a few times. I think if I had paired it with something a little bit different, I might have taken it home because I really liked the look of it. This sweater was by Poor Apparel. It was a size small and it was $16.99. I seriously considered bringing this one home. If not for the color, I probably would have. I loved the fit of it. I loved the detail on the sleeves. I liked the cropped look. I don't have a lot of cropped sweaters, but it looked really nice with like a high-waisted jean. And it just overall, it was a nice fit. And those sleeves, they're just so pretty with those like leaf patterns all over them. But yeah, I just felt like maybe it wasn't the right color for my skin tone, especially considering the fact that I'm about to lose my tan and be very pale. This top in black was by Anne Klein and it was $16.99. Not sure if you're noticing a pattern here, <laughs> but it had these nice gold accents that were really very kind of classy looking. It has this nice zipper in the front that was a working zipper I had on a dark cami underneath, but the um, pockets also had these little gold grommets on them. This would have been really nice to go with like a skirt or pants with a blazer or cardigan or something over the top, but it was just a little more basic than I was looking for. I didn't end up taking this one home either, but I think it would have been a nice basic for workwear. Next up was this Patrons of Peace top. This one was actually $19.99, so I think it was maybe the most expensive thing I tried on. I thought it was very boho looking, and I this was one of my favorite items that I tried on. It was more of a summer piece or really fall, but it's not warm enough here in the fall to wear something like this, and I think I would have hated to cover it over with a cardigan or something because the design is just so pretty. Check out those, like ribbons of design down the sides. I just think they're really cute, but this one did not stay either. All right, going outside of the fall sweater look was this caution to the wind dress. I really liked the the look of this dress. It was probably not great for fall, but it was really stretchy and had like this interesting design to it. That's a lot of striping. I think when you look at it, it can really kind of bother the eye <laughs> depending on how things look to you. But I thought it was really cute. I think if it was summer, I might have really seriously considered this one, but this one stayed too. 
All right, this last piece was another caution to the wind piece. This is a romper. Both this and the dress before this were $8, so they were both on clearance. I really liked this and thought it was super cute. I didn't think I could get away with it for the season, but I really wanted to try it, and I really could have bought it for vacation or for next season. I just ended up not because I thought, if I'm on vacation, I don't really want to be pulling down a romper <laughs> to go to the bathroom, <laughs> as strange as that sounds. But I thought this was a really fun design, and I thought it was kind of like a classy-looking romper if that makes sense. All right, so that trip was kind of a bust. I feel like there was one sweater I could have bought, but I feel like the color was just a little bit off for my complexion. I think it maybe would work when I'm really tan, but I'm not really wearing sweaters <laughs> when I'm really tan, so that's not going to work out, unfortunately. And I did have like a two t-shirt set that I really was considering buying and I think I probably should have because I bought a t-shirt from Reformation Jeans. It was in my mm, trunk club box, I think, and I shrunk it. My very first wearing of it, <laughs> I threw it in the washer and accidentally threw it in the dryer after and it shrunk. So I gave it to my daughter and it's now a cute little crop top for her, but I no longer have that really kind of simple black tee. And I'm thinking that it's something I want to replace and I think that that t-shirt I saw would have worked really well, but I sort of was kind of proud of myself for not buying anything. <laughs> so I just decided to leave it behind and make it a no buy shopping trip. But I had a lot of fun trying everything on. I think there are some really fun styles for people maybe who like that boxier look in a sweater shape. I just don't, I prefer a more fitted look, but you know, once in a while I do like that boxier look. So um, yeah. <laughs> Everything stayed at the store this time, but it was fun to take you guys along, and um, I think I'll do a couple more at my stores that I tend to have really good luck at and see what I can find for fall styles there. So thank you so much for coming along with me. If you like clothing subscription unboxings, clothing hauls and try-ons, and a little bit of lifestyle stuff stuck in there in between, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.